Hi, it's Azusa. Today, I'm excited to share with you how to make okonomiyaki. You will need half a cabbage, half cup of flour, one pack of dashi powder, nagaimo, half cup of tenkasu, two eggs, scallions, and either thin sliced pork loin or pork belly. Tenkasu is an essential ingredient that adds a rich umami flavor to the dish. I'm using tenkasu with shrimp flakes today for an extra boost of flavor. And nagaimo, also known as mountain yam potato, is a crucial ingredient that makes the okonomiyaki fluffy. Nagaimo, also called yamaimo, has a crisp and a hard texture, and when you grate it, it's very slimy. You can eat it raw, but it's also useful to make the light okonomiyaki. The word okonomi means as you like, and a yaki means grilled or cooked, which means you can add any ingredients you like to okonomiyaki. But basically, you use cabbage for the base of the pancake. There are two types of okonomiyaki. Kansai style, which originated in Osaka, where you mix all the ingredients together with a thick butter. And Hiroshima style, which is layered with vegetables, noodles, and thin butter. Growing up close enough to Hiroshima, my family always had a Hiroshima style. We used a rectangular hot plate to make okonomiyaki. It was a special treat to eat from the hot plate, and it brought us together as a family. Although I currently don't have a hot plate, you can easily make okonomiyaki in one frying pan. Although I like both styles, for this recipe, I'm making Kansai style okonomiyaki with extra cabbage. After grating the nagaimo and mixing it with the egg, add flour, dashi powder, and a pinch of salt if you like to add. Mix in the tenkasu for extra flavor. Tenkasu is a tempura flakes, and then the grease of the tempura flakes adds richness to the pancake while pan frying. And add in the cabbage and the scallions. Like mentioned, it's extra cabbage than usual kansai style, so it's more like coating the cabbage with the butter while mixing. Some people add here mochi, cheese, shrimps, squid, kimchi, or more other ingredients to okonomiyaki. As mentioned, it's a dish you can make with your okonomi as you like. Add the butter to heated pan with medium heat. It doesn't have to be perfectly round. You add the thin sliced pork on the pancake butter. When pan frying the okonomiyaki, I use a lid to cover it, which steams the cabbage and it makes it soft. I pan fry about 45 minutes each side. For the toppings, you can use otafuku okonomi sauce, kupi mayonnaise, aonori seaweed, and katsuobushi, which is bonito flakes. And there you have it, it's a delicious and easy to make okonomiyaki. I hope you enjoy making it at home as much as I do. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.